The pump's internal parts are generally attached to the shaft. This assembly is often referred to as the rotor or rotor assembly. To disassemble the rotor, it must be removed from the lower casing. In our example, the first step in removing the rotor is to free the bearing housings from the casing. This is done by removing the dowel pins and the bearing housing bolts. The rotor assembly can then be carefully lifted out of the lower casing. The assembly is placed on V-blocks so that the parts are suspended above the surface of the table to avoid damage to the parts.